Working as a doctor is challenging. Many doctors struggle to achieve a healthy work-life balance. Do you feel your work is affecting your personal life? Have you considered switching to less than full-time? If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Dr. Owen. I help high formulas great habits to lead a happy and successful life. I publish new video every Thursday. If you don't want to miss any future videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and ring the bell. In this video, we're going to talk about less than full-time training. Doctors apply to go less than full-time to achieve work-life integration. Traditionally, doctors have reduced their clinical work to gain flexibility and fulfill family commitments, especially after the birth of a baby. Spending time with your baby is only one of many reasons to go less than full-time. We're seeing more doctors going less than full-time, and this includes both men and women. Other reasons include caring for members of your family, it could be your partner or a relative, or if you have a disability or health problem yourself. If you want to pursue different interests in your personal or professional life, going less than full-time may also be an option. Flexible working is becoming more commonplace to meet the demands of the workforce. Health Education England and Dean Rees recognize the need to allow doctors to work flexibly. Supporting an individual to move less than full-time retain the workforce and ensure continued training. There are benefits and disadvantages of moving less than full-time. Let's take a look at the benefits. The most obvious benefit of less than full-time is you have improved work-life integration. You own your time and can allocate that time to fulfill commitments that's important to you. So you can manage your health, you can take care of your family members, and pursue different interests. You may also find that you enjoy work more when you're there. Some inconveniences of less than full-time training is that you will have to extend your training. You will also be out of sync with your peers and some trainees may feel that they are a little bit isolated working part-time. There's also implications to your salary and pension contribution. When you work less than full-time, you will see a pay cut, so your take-home pay will decrease. You may also find that there's less continuity with patients and you may take more time to integrate with your team. There are two different categories of application to less than full-time mentioned in the Gold Guide. Category 1 is for doctors in training who have a disability or ill health, who has responsibility for caring for children, for caring for an ill or disabled partner or relative or other dependent. This results in the individual doctor or dentist being professionally disadvantaged by circumstances and less able to fulfill the potential on a full-time rather than on a part-time basis. Category 2 is for doctors in training with unique opportunities for their own personal or professional development. For example, training for national or international sporting events or short-term extraordinary responsibility, for example, in national committee. Religious commitment involving training for a particular religious role. Non-medical professional development such as management course, law courses, fine art courses or diploma in complementary therapies. Let's take a look at the practicalities of moving less than full-time. So it's very important that you read the goal guide and assess your needs because it's important that you know exactly what's the reason you wish to go less than full-time and in which category your application would be eligible because you need a valid reason to go less than full-time. You also need to assess the impact of moving less than full-time on your personal life and your work life. The application process may take up to three months, so it's important that you plan in advance and you know which date you would like to start less than full-time. Once you have done your research, discuss with your training program director about your plan to go less than full-time. You will also need to discuss with your educational supervisor and inform the deanery about your plan. In order to apply less than full-time, 
you will need to complete a form and when you go less than full time there are two options you can either slot share so you will need to have another trainee and share a full time slot especially if you are in a hospital placement each trainee must work at least 50% the second option is reduce hours in a full time post this is when the trainee works a certain percentage of hours and the department has to cover the remaining shift. Most doctors who work less than full time work between 60 to 80%. A common question is whether it's possible to start full time training and then move less than full time. So it's very flexible to actually move from full time to less than full time and going back to full time again. If you want to go less than full time, Check your eligibility and speak with your program director as soon as possible. If you're on a tier 2 visa, there's a salary criteria that is at least £30,000 per year. Please check the official source directly, UK Visa and Immigration, for guidance. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I hope you found this valuable. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.